Okay, I brought you a cake. <gasps> oh my. I made it myself. It's good. I had to get everything for it, and yeah, I made it and brought it here. Can I have the whole thing? You don't want any. Yeah, no, you can have you can have a, as much as you want. <sighs> One little <sighs> slice left. Oh. How are you doing? I'm better now, I guess. I thought I was going to starve to death. Why, where have you been? How long has it been since you were here? It's been forever. It's been a day. It has... It can't have only been a day. Well, it's been it's been two days, but I, I was only I wasn't here for one day. I was just I was I was busy. I wasn't really around uh, these places. I guess have you had time to think. Have you thought about you know yourself and your past and? Yeah, there's not much else to do, is there? Not really. So what do you What do you think? What do I think? I mean, I think you're right about some things. I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think you're right that there's a lot of people who are, who are bad people. I think that Techno and, and Aerid are bad people. Okay. Okay. All right. That's, that's some progress. You know what? I'll give you the progress clock. <gasps> that's the progress oh clock. You've made some progress. Do you think that you're a good person? Yeah. Maybe, right? Mm. Uh, okay. All right. But I mean, here. I mean, let's I, let, wait, 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 wait. Let, let's let's let's. We'll have, a, we'll have a talk, okay? We'll have a, we'll have a little discussion. You and me, right? Uh -huh. Let's compare. Let's compare. Okay. What What do you think makes me a bad person? And you not a bad person. What makes you a bad person is that you want to like personally take things from people so you can control them, but like in a malicious way, like right? Like, but do, I don't. You don't want to control people. I don't no, I don't. I mean, I, I want people to do the right thing, but I don't want to control people. Oh, but I thought that's why you wanted everyone's things that they liked in your in your bunker that you had yeah, you, like, you like, had like skeppy like skeppy in a two by one box wow that was so you know but was wasn't so, but wasn't so that great for bad what that was just oh i'm gonna put skeppy in a two by one box you think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop in there even though i have this massive prison that i was i was building i was gonna throw skeppy in a little two by one box look it wasn't it that wasn't anything i was just for show but didn't you take some stuff from people? Like you had, you had some people's stuff in there. You had people's pets and stuff, right? Oh no! I just named a cow Henry, and that was Tommy's. Wait, it wasn't actually Henry. No, how, didn't Henry die? I don't, how did that supposed to be Henry? Oh. Well, you think the revival book works on pets? Well, I don't know if the revival book <laughs> works on pets. Does it? No, it doesn't. One of the rules. I see. I think the only thing I actually took was the, um, uh, like the acts of peace, but I didn't really take that. Actually, I don't even remember how I got it. What else have I done that's bad? You told me that you had Tommy trapped on that island with you. After Tommy was exiled by Tubbo, that I, I spent time with him and gave him food, like I'm literally doing to you right now, and talked to him, you know, tried to rehabilitate him from making the mistakes that he made over and over and over and over again. Yeah, I guess. How's it my fault he was exiled? He was blowing up things and burning things and destroying things and causing tons of problems for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, it's true. You you were going to kill Tubbo. I wasn't going to kill Tubbo. Why did you say you were going to kill, gonna kill Tubbo? I was going to kill Tubbo. I would have killed Tubbo. Well, but why did you say you were going to kill Tubbo then? Again, it was to do with Tommy and trying to teach Tommy not to steal from me and scare him from you know ever doing it again. He was going to beg and beg and beg, and then eventually he was going to give in and, and you know beg me not to kill Tubbo, and then I wouldn't, and then he would be forever grateful, and he would learn his lesson. Mm. I wasn't going to actually kill him, but I think Tubbo is one of the people who haven't actually done anything wrong. No, I don't think Tubbo's done really anything, right? No, not really. I think Techno is a really bad guy, too.
he Ooh. also broke you out, which was like against like what everyone wanted to do. Like it's not what like the majority of people wanted to do, and like he didn't care. Like he still did it, and like but who, okay, who decided that? Who decided that the majority of people? We we all decided when we were there in the room. Not techno. When we captured you. Where was his part in that decision? The majority, even without techno, still would have wanted to do it. Techno doesn't have to sit by and let you guys lock people up. Remember, I wasn't the only one in the prison. There was Connor and there was Rambo. What were they in there for? Who's going to stop you from then going ahead and, and convincing the majority of the server to then lock up everybody? And then guess what? The majority gets smaller and the majority gets smaller and the majority gets smaller until eventually you're the majority. I mean, yeah, I guess. But... And... Again, just to say, he just came to visit me. You locked him in here. He broke himself out and me with him. But you locked him in the prison. I mean, you can't then say that 100% he was going to break me out. Maybe he wouldn't have. Maybe he would have shown up and gone, ah, this place has pretty tight security and then decided not to come. But instead, he had to spend months in here, locked up, probably thinking about how much he wants to come back and beat your ass and break me out. Yeah. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You you do things, and then go. Oh, guess what? Yeah, I, I you know I, I I did this, and then yeah, I I got consequences from it, and then oh, that the consequences were so bad. You you do something, and then you you're like, you know, why did he do that? You know, like like you you killed Rambo, and then you got locked in prison. Now you're like, oh God, those guys are such they're so horrible for locking me in here. Well, they are. I think they're wrong. So you don't think I, think I deserve, to be, think you deserve to be in here? No, I don't think you deserve to be in here. I don't think I deserve to be in here. I don't think I deserved to be in here. I don't think I deserve to be tortured. I mean, do you think that Quackity deserves to be tortured, Sam? But, you, you think I should pay him a visit? You know, but what put are him you, in a chair? What are you going to gain by doing it, though? When I let Quackity torture you, it was a means to an end to get the revival book. They weren't just like torturing you for the fun, right? What do you think Quackity would have done with the revival book? I don't know. But if Quackity got the revival book, I would have had it too. Maybe we could have shared it with everyone, and then death's no longer bad, right? I don't know what Quackity would have done. I think Quackity would have kept it to himself. No, he would have just given it to me. I, I feel like we just have such a different view on like people. Like, Look, I think that everybody is a good guy in their own story, and a bad guy, and a lot of other people's, right? I'm a, I think I'm a, I'm a good guy in some people's story. I think in Techno's story, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a good guy. You know, I think in Wilbur's mind, I, I brought him back to life. He's only alive because of me. I think I'm a good guy in Wilbur's mind. But I think there's some people that I'm a terrible guy in. I think that you're a good guy in some people's minds, and you're a terrible guy in others. Everyone is selfish. Everyone does things for their own best self-interest. You've done horrible things. You've tortured People, you've killed people. But guess what? You did it for what you thought was right, even if it wasn't. Yeah, but if you told people why you did things, then wouldn't they agree that I'm a good guy if I like explained to them why I did what I did? Well, no, because your reason, as an example for me, your reason for torturing me is to get the revival book. Sure, you think it's a noble cause. You think, oh, Quacky's going to share the book with me, then I'm going to share it with everyone, and then everyone is immortal. That's not how it works. Isn't that the point of the revival book? Once you know what's in there, you can bring people back once they die, so no one has to die, right? Well, no. If I die, the revival book dies with me. But that's because you're the only one that knows it. Maybe. Maybe that. It, maybe it is. But you think that's a great idea. From my perspective, that's a terrible idea, because as soon as the revival book is known, I die. I was not planning to have so no, you, you can explain you your, your perspective to me a million times i'll still say no please don't kill me the first time i came to visit you here that you were trying to kill me that you would have been happy you could finally kill me and get it over with look i don't care i get it i i agree if i was in your position i probably would have got tried to get the revival book as well i would have done everything i possibly could have too i get it see so you do I see understand. like you don't like no but i still think that you're a bad guy just because i understand doesn't mean that i agree but you just said you would have done it too. So does that mean In that your you're a shoes. bad guy too? Yes. Yes, you're, you're finally getting it. Congrats. You're finally wrapping your head around the fact that I am, I am not a good guy. In our world, you have to do bad things. You have to be a bad guy. Otherwise, you die. 
What happened that day when Tommy got locked in here? Do you know? Yeah. It was Rambo. I... Why would he do that? Why? You knew. How did you know? You were in. You were trapped in here. How did you... What? How is that possible? Yeah. Probably better you don't know. I want the keys. To the prison? Yeah, I want to make this place my home. I'll let you think about it, okay? Give it a good ponder. Have your last slice of cake. I'll leave you some steak. Screw it, just take a golden apple, I guess, whatever. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow. You can check your clock, okay? Okay. Look, you give me the keys. You admit that you're, you know, you've done bad things, that you're a bad guy, but that's fine because everyone else is. You can walk on out of here. I'll open the door for you with the keys. Then I'm going to live here. Because guess what? There's no better fortified base than this place you built for me. I'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow. And if you, you thought about it. You just want the keys, though. Right. Just the keys. I just want to make this my home. Okay? I've, you know, I want to turn, turn it from bad memories to good ones, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. See you tomorrow.